Hello, I hope you're in fine voice. Now, are you just starting out in voiceovers? Perhaps you've never done any at all in your life. Well, here are five golden rules I think you should take note of. Number one, you should read, read and read again. Read as much as you can, anything, a magazine, a book, uh, pull something off the internet. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that you're reading and specifically you are reading out loud because that's what voiceover artists do. They read scripts. So the better you're reading out loud, the better you will be at performing voiceover scripts. Lock yourself away from other people in the house. Just grab a, a small corner and, and just read out loud. Record it if you can on your phone or, or even on your computer. Uh, but that's really important. Once you are reading out loud and you're quite happy with that, you're getting more and more confident, the next thing is to make what you're doing believable. So you've got to be genuine when you're reading, doing your reading. And in fact, in some ways, you've got to make it sound like you're not reading and gain that authenticity. So you want your audiobook, your commercial, even if you're doing a video game or you're doing an on-hold phone message or a corporate or whatever, you need to make the listener be convinced really of what you're saying that in fact you yourself are convinced. So it's about getting under the skin of the words and making it believable. You could do a commercial which is heard by hundreds of thousands or even millions of people. It's perfectly conceivable. And if you're doing an audio book, that might be heard by thousands of people too. But really, you are only addressing one person, a single person. It's a very intimate thing, I think, voiceovers. You're, it's a very human occupation, actually. It's you talking to another person. So direct your voiceover at that one person. You can personify the mic if you like, or you can just imagine a friend or a family member, even a pet, if that makes it easier. But the main thing is you're not addressing a crowd. You're talking to a single person and you're talking to them as well. You're not talking at them. A lot of people, when they're starting out in voiceovers, set the bar too high. They try and do everything and they try and do it so well that it's basically perfect. But of course, nobody is perfect. You're not going to be perfect. It doesn't matter if you have to do retakes. It doesn't matter if you fail auditions. That's part of the landscape, really. It's what we all do. And I think if you, if you try and set that bar too high, if you try and make yourself perfect with your voiceovers, you're going to fail. You're always going to be disappointed. So what I recommend you do is just learn to accept a certain level. Now, you want to get that level higher and higher, but you're not aiming for perfection. And it's very important you, you remember that because if you try and be perfect all the time, you'll never do anything and you'll never get anywhere. And finally, number five, perhaps the most important of all, never give up. I see so many people throw in the towel far too early. They get a bit of rejection and it cuts to the quick and they don't like it. And of course, it's, it's very painful to be rejected, but you have to overcome that. So keep on going. It's the only way to do it. And eventually, eventually it will happen. You'll get that job and you only need that first job to make you think, Great, that's fantastic. Someone actually paid me for my voice. That's amazing. I can do more, and you certainly can do more. So keep on going. That's my probably the most important thing out of the whole five, really, or one of them. So I hope those golden rules have proved useful for launching your voiceover career. Well, thanks very much for watching today. Look after your voice and see you next time.